Next question is from Coach Carruthers. For long-term health and overall all longevity for lifting, would trap bar deadlifts be better than using a barbell? Mm, another good question. Yeah, you know, mm. I tell you what, uh, the, the barbell deadlift. Lots of debate around this too, by the way. There oh, is. Yeah. The barbell deadlift just requires hates it. Mm. it requires more skill than a trap bar deadlift. So both of them, they're similar, but they're not the same. Both of them are where you're lifting a weight off the ground. There's a bit of hip hinging involved in both of them, more in the deadlift than in the trap bar deadlift. Um, but the barbell deadlift just requires more skill. So anytime an exercise requires more skill, that means that there's a higher potential risk for injury. Now, that doesn't mean that, that it's going to hurt you. If you have good form with both of them, then you're fine. But when I would train the average person, they're far more likely to be able to do a trap bar deadlift properly than they would be able to do a barbell deadlift. So I think you could, I could make the argument for both ways. Now, one way would be, well, if you can't barbell deadlift, let's figure out why. Let's work on your mobility. Let's work on your hip hinging. Let's work on your stability so that you can do it. Then the other side of me says, look, the average person might not be able to address a lot of those things or know what to do if they're not working with a trainer, in which case a trap bar deadlift is an easier, less skilled version of uh, you know picking up a, a weight off the floor exercise. Yeah, I like the trap bar for distributing the force kind of a, a little bit more effectively like that. Like if you're talking about your average person, I think that there's – definite value in using uh, the trap bar and, and this is something too where like uh, Courtney has had issues with her back even though like mobility has been something we've been working on and really like connecting and 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 working on bracing and and you know the overall skill of of you know a deadlift and, and doing a regular standard deadlift uh there's still issues that occur you know in her back that that, that speak to her and so you know i prefer her to use the uh, trap bar for that reason so we can kind of distribute that force a little more uh you know both anterior and posteriorly so uh but but i do kind of also agree a little bit uh you know with ripito's argument of the the fact that the trap bar swings a little bit and so you have to account for the fact sure. that it's a different it's a different uh, monster uh, in general. So it's, I, I don't know that I would class them both as like the same animal. Well, I, I think that, uh, and th the reason why this is a good discussion is because there are experts and high level coaches that have take, have taken a staunch position on both sides of this. Mm -hmm. um, and the truth is I'm, I'm with you, Sal on uh, it, it depends. And uh, I utilize both. And if I had a client, many times uh, I have a client do trap bar because there is so much. Like I get a client, let's just say, who is in their mid fifties and they've never trained with me and they've never had anybody, and they're they have a lot to work on. They've got a lot broken down. You know, they're they've got stuff. Their knees are collapsing in. They've got an asymmetrical shift. They've they've got all these issues that I'm trying to work on as a coach and as a trainer, and getting them under the the the, the barbell deadlift. You, it just exaggerates all these problems. And so that doesn't mean that I say, oh, well, let's just eliminate the barbell deadlift and only do trap bar because you can do that with good form. I may have them do the trap bar deadlift, but then my ultimate goal is to get them to be able to do a barbell deadlift. So I that's the position that I take. It reminds me very similar. And I, you know, I remember this is kind of this is actually how uh, Eugene Tao and I met was uh, he did a post on Instagram kind of, uh, you know, shaming the, the 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 coaches out there that d push the uh, squat so much and that you know technically the hack squat is uh, as beneficial or more beneficial for developing your quads and my comment to him is that I don't like that message I don't like because what I know is that a lot of people including someone like myself as a kid would hear that and go like, oh see I don't need to do squats I'll just do hack squats and I'll be able to develop that and and that's how him and as I as if it's an even trade, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's not. They're different movements. They both carry lots of value and a benefit. And it should they both should be tools in your your tool belt. But the truth is, you you if you can't do the barbell deadlift or you can't do the barbell back squat, you know we have things like the hack squat. We have things like the trap bar deadlift, which are to like Sal said, easier movements to teach someone to do and great place to utilize them. But as coaches and as people that are pursuing overall strength and fitness, you shouldn't eliminate the idea that you don't want to work towards being able to barbell deadlift. One of the best things you could do for your overall development, uh, fitness, success for muscle and fat loss, one of the best possible things you could do is find traditional exercises that you can't do well and learn how to do them well. One of the best possible things you could do. If you can't barbell squat well, then 
figure out why you can't fix that problem. And it may take you time. It may take you months. Sometimes it takes years. But work towards being able to do it, and that work towards being able to do it, and then eventually being able to do it produces tremendous results. And this is true for both the deadlift and the trap bar deadlift. But again, trap bar deadlift, nine out of 10 times, when I get a brand new client, I start them on trap bar deadlifts before I move them to a barbell yeah. deadlift. And look, with my son, I'm training my son right now. That's where we're starting, trap bar deadlifts. Am I going to not have him do a barbell deadlift? Of course not. We're going to move to that eventually, but this just requires less skill. It's easier to start with. 